Are you a stay-at-home mom or do you wish you were? Well, there's actually great value in being a stay-at-home mom for yourself, your family, and your community. You might think you can't afford to quit your job, but my next guest says it's possible with the right know-how. As we continue our Money Matters series with Trisha Brown from Bright Peak Financial, it's always great to have you in the studio. Thank you. I'm so happy you, you to be here. You always have great tips. Let's start right off the bat with talking about the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom. For the mom and the family, if it's right, the benefits can be tremendous. Mm. Um, as you probably know, early childhood is a really critical time critical. for kids. You can't get it back. Yeah. And the quality of care can really impact a child's academic achievement for years to come. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to be a stay-at-home parent, you have complete control of what that care is. What people aren't familiar with are some of the other benefits. Balancing work and life and the family life is really challenging. It's stressful for, too. Yep, mm -hmm. For dads, moms, and the kids. So if you're able to have one parent focus on the home and another parent focus on the work, uh, many families have found that there's diminished stress yeah. and strife within the family. I'm sure. Now there've got to be statistics out there somewhere, and if anyone knows them, it's you, about stay-at-home moms. Actually, an organization called Salary.com okay. that does investigations on salaries for all kinds of jobs looks at what a fair wage would be for moms. The typical stay-at-home mom works over 96 hours a week, <laughs> is a chef, a teacher, a financial manager, a million other things. Yeah. And so what they've found is that if you were to compensate them fairly for what they're doing, it would be nearly $119,000 a year. Wow, I love, moms, are you listening? You're worth it. That's a big number and there's great value in what moms are doing. And so help me understand how to make it financially possible to stay at home with your kids. You know, it does cost to give up a paycheck. Right. It really does cost a family, but not as much as most people think. Mm. Um, there are a tremendous savings that people realize when they are staying at home. The first and most obvious is that you're not paying for those expensive childcare costs. Yes, yeah, they can be enormous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If both parents are working, it's a big ticket it's, right there. Exactly. Um, but beyond that, actually, families have seen a big reduction in food costs mm. um, because they're eating out less. Right. Transportation costs can also go down because you're not commuting and putting all that wear and tear on a car. And some families drop cars or feel that they can uh, survive right. with one car. Um, and uh, actually, there's, people see reductions in sort of clothing costs because you're not having to do laundry and get those expensive work clothes. And dry cleaning. Let's, yeah. You know, work clothes and going to that. That's a, those are five or six huge cutouts. Exactly. You know, um, you know, what about families? What can they do about, I know this is a big question about insurance and if one leaves and only one works. Talk to me about that. Yeah, that's a really important thing for people to think about before they make a move. Um, so what we would suggest is that they talk to the, uh, their husband's employer. Or their wives. Or their wives, exactly, you're right. And see what kinds of insurance will transfer over. Right. For the most part, health insurance is one that is open to the whole family, but it's important to find out when they can qualify right. for that health insurance, how much it's gonna cost, and what it's gonna take to get it. But disability and life insurance, they do not transfer, right? So that's something you need to take a look at. Yeah, no, unfortunately they don't. Um, they are so important to help uh, a parent protect the economic value that they bring to a family, and yet employers are typically only offering that to the employee, mm. and it doesn't transfer to the stay-at-home spouse. There are options out there, and we work with many families and are able to help them navigate both the employer landscape to figure out what they can get there and then what their options are for purchasing independently. You know, such great information. And where can our viewers find you if they're thinking about doing this for their family? Yeah, um, our website has great resources. It's brightpeakfinancial.com and they can find both books and blogs about it as well as uh, resources for accessing a financial professional that can help them talk through what their options Fantastic. are. Fantastic, I've seen your website and there's so much free information there and videos and blogs. It's just a great re resource. So thank you so much again for stopping by. Thank you. Great to see you, Trisha. You too. And remember to log on to our website, thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.